Hello and welcome to the Moon Channel and today I'm going to teach you how to stream off your PS5 to your Streamlabs or OBS. I know the PS5's been out for a while. Oh brother, this guy stinks! But but I just felt like I need to share my struggles, especially in 2024, because you know some video might be dated. Some video might be dated. I'm not tuning, you know, not to disrespect anybody else's video, but they might be outdated, you know. So and I wanted to share my own struggles that I went through when I was trying to put my PS5 on my stream last specifically. Yeah, that's that's what that's what you're out here today. And I just want to preface thank y'all for the last video for 2000 views and 94 likes. Very much appreciate and the comments love them. I I appreciate y'all subscribing and y'all just subscribe to this channel too. I'm not, I'm not a how to guy. I just like spreading the word. Yeah, let's get started. But I do want to say you're gonna you're gonna have to spend low money. You're gonna have to spend on low money on this PS5. It it sucks. It sucks. Especially if you've been streaming off of like what a switch and you never had this problem You're you're, you're gonna have to do it for this one. Sorry. Just gotta I got it in big and I know I know about this side Don't don't worry about that. All right. This is my capture card. I have the Elgato HD 60s I I it, it does the job pretty well. I would say it's a very good. It's a very good capture card very good capture card I I like Elgato. That's why I like it. You can also get a cheaper option if you will just make sure that that you do your own research. I don't know any specific. Um, I only use Elgato, so just make sure that your your capture card is good. It can run, and it has and if it has um an an aux port or or a port or a jack. All right, that that's very important. Okay, so pretty much what you want to start off with the very beginning that you want to do is you want to go to settings you want to go to uh system and you want to go to hdmi and you want to turn off that hdcp this is going to allow you to stream your stuff and uh, if you want to know the science behind it it just blocks footage that's it so you just turn this off and then bada bing bada boom your elgato or whatever capture card can capture capture your gameplay that, that's step one that 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 is step one all right now the second thing you want to do obviously is to set up your elgato or whatever capture card that you have hooked up up to your computer and and your tv obviously and you should be good to go for my elgato people you want this um this hdmi port the one this this is out this is in so the the game the gameplay and all that you want the the hdmi for your console to go to come in and you want everything to come out of this hdmi f to your tv and then um this all comes with the elgato except for except for this this is the stuff this is the the audio section where you have to pay money um i'm going more on that a little later so you want this on uh, this cord going into your pc and that's how you get your footage now let's get into how to stream off of your ps5 so we're gonna start off with Streamlabs, all right and pretty much what you want to do is you want to go to sources you want to go to video capture device you're gonna add the source you are going to well i have a lot but Pretty much what you would do if you're starting, you would go to add new source. You're gonna add new source and you're gonna go to devices and pretty much your your Elgato or um, whatever capture card should come up here. Since I have Elgato, it's going to come up as Game Capture HD 60S Plus and you're gonna click on that and that's, well, I already have it streaming. That's why it's not showing up. But uh, pretty much, um, it's going to it's going to show up here, and then your gameplay is going to show up on on this screen right here on hello this screen. Um, if it doesn't show up, pretty much what I do is I unplug the USB off of my computer and then plug it back in, or I just unplug the Elgato altogether just to get it restarted. 
and then plug it back in and it should it should work that's my method if it if it if anything doesn't show up or like the next time you open streamlabs or obs and nothing shows up that's what i do i just unplug everything and then i just plug everything back in and add a new source what i just showed you and that's pretty much uh it, it should be fine it should be fine if it doesn't you need another you need another tutorial um but that's my method now we're getting inside the audio portion of things you got your ps5 you you able to follow the tutorial up to now and pretty much you you see you see hold up you see that there is sound coming through or it or if there is sound it's choppy it's disgusting like like what this this wasn't on my switch right so pretty much what you want to do this is the part where you got to spend some little money is you want the you want the chat link cable i have the chat link cable pro audio adapter right for ps5 ps4 and nintendo switch yada 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 right and this is what you want to get right this is how you're going to get clear crisp audio from your ps5 it's really unfortunate that it's like this but this is the world that we live in so what you want to do is you want to plug so you have the chat link cable right at this point of the at this point of the video you have the chat link cable so you want to plug that in to your elgato or you want to plug that into your capture card and you want to plug it into your ps5 controller right and you want some random random headphone right you want some random headphone lying around doesn't matter doesn't matter if it's good or bad you don't need this you know unless you want to hear your friends or something then that's a different story but pretty much you want some you want some headphones lying around for the other side of this chat link cable you want to press this you want to press the ps5 home button and you and you just want to check sound and you want to check make sure your uh you want to make sure that it's on hdmi right you don't want this on headset uh make sure this is on hdmi tv so all the audio can go inside um through your computer right uh and essentially pretty much you want to go to sources you want to go to audio input capture and you want to add a new source and for the devices you want to go to digital audio face interface for game capture yeah you want this so you got this and and you want uh, the audio monitoring to be monitor and output and bada bing bada boom people uh you might want to mute all the excess audio that's like out hold on let me let me lower this let me lower this for a bit you might want to um, you know mute this up mute the desktop audio mute like um the audio that's coming from um the the video capture device just in case because all you really want is that audio input capture for for your um for your streaming for your for your stuff and that's 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 really how simple i can put it see audio is crisp audio audio is clean let's 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 go into let's go into battle real quick so i can show y'all how crisp this audio is all right so we're in battle you hear the music you you it's really crisp it's really it's really fine like gameplay is clean gameplay is nice like like no complaints whatsoever like you're hearing everything it, you're hearing you're hearing the voices you 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 hear everything, right? That's that's pretty much that's pretty much it, at least for Streamlabs. I'm a uh, I'm gonna show y'all the OBS side now, but for the grand scheme of things, hold on, let me lower this a bit. For let me just mute it. So for the grand scheme of things, that's pretty much all you have to do. And if you're still experiencing some audios, I just recommend you um going you 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 downloading the the 4K the Elgato 4K capture utility and and just messing messing around with that uh in the settings for the audio. It's gonna show 
HDMI or analog, maybe you want to mess with that a bit, but that's pretty much, that's, that's as simple as, as it gets for the audio section. It's not complicated. Unfortunately, you need to pay some money for it to work and to have that crisp audio. And yeah. So OBS kind of hold my microphone and I am a little bit upset at that fact because I had some really nice wording. Um, so pretty much hopefully this uh, little recording syncs up, but essentially all you want to do is add, add a new source, uh, then create a new source. And then it's the same concept. You want to see if your Elgato or if your capture card is there then bada bing bada boom it should show up on your screen and for the audio it's the same same method just go to audio input capture put that as um your elgato capture card or no put that as your audio interface um elgato audio interface um for the chat link cable and it should it should work it should it should give you sound my apologies digital audio interface for my stuff at least but yeah that's pretty much it you can obviously hear the sound and you can't hear me but you can hear you can hear the gameplay and the sound uh the, the mic is supposed to work please i'm not a fraud uh even if you don't have these options just just remember if you ever want to like you know stream or or record something you know you always have multiple methods of doing it like like your phone like don't don't be discouraged i know everybody wants the best quality but but just but you know you got to start somewhere and, and your phone could be a great source you know or 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 just streaming off a of pc in general you know just just wait until you have some stuff scrapped up and then just start start there because this this isn't a streaming on a console is a very ex expensive thing to do um but yeah that's pretty much the tutorial so if y'all have some words of wisdom that you would like to share in the comments below please put them in the comments below especially if a person has a question help each other out people we're trying to start this together yeah if you like this solid content just like subscribe and more and that's all you got to do and if you want to join the moon discourse server the links down in the description below and hey this is not my main content but let's just uh, you know hypothetically you know check out my reviews you know I, I recommend the uh, the Metal Gear Solid, you know. Uh, just just see if that tickles your fancy. You know, it'll help me a lot. You know, you you can even watch like five minutes of it. How about that? But yeah, Mooners, return to base. Return to base.